In the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia On the trail of the lonesome pine In the pale moonshine Our hearts entwined Where she carved her name And I carved my own Oh June, oh June Just like, like the, the mountains I'm blue Like the pine I am lonesome for you Mountains of Virginia on the trail of the lonesome pine. In the blue ridge mountains of Virginia on the trail of the lonesome pine. In the pale moonshine, our hearts entwine, where she carved a name and I carved mine. Oh, June, just like the mountains are blue, like the pine. I am lonesome for you. line that Robin Hood has about stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. There's a gag there somewhere, isn't there? Babe, the girl's going to be waiting for us downstairs. Delphine wants us to meet these people from no, his charity. Never mind about them. They're not going anywhere. We just need to work through this just a little bit more. Hey, when is Muffin coming to see the show? He didn't say. He should have been here tonight. Went big tonight. That was a crackerjack, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. All right, all right. How, how about this? How about... We tell Robin Hood, you've got it all wrong. You ought to steal from the poor and give it no, to the no, rich or something not, like that's that. That's not right. No, it's, well, what is it? Well, all, all right. Okay. Oh, you got how, how about this? Okay, okay, how about this? Okay, I tap you on the shoulder and I say, uh, uh, Ali, I got an idea. How about we, we give to the poor by stealing from the poor? That way we cut out the middleman. <laughs> that's it. That's it. All right. Stealing from the rich to give to the poor. Who ever heard of such a ridiculous idea? Well, it's communism. What are you looking for, Stan? I'm looking for a fair price for a Laurel and Hardy picture, and you know it. Our pictures sell all around the world, and we haven't got a dime. That's because we keep getting divorced. No, it's because you're a cheapskate who got rich off our backs. Oh, come on now, Stan. He is. He's a cheapskate, a skin flint, and a, and a parvenu. A parvenu? He thinks because my contract's up and yours isn't that I won't be able to go anyplace else and I'll have to take what he's offering. Wait, 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 wait. Mr. Roach? What's a parvenu? Well, it's, it's someone who started out with nothing, got rich, but has no class. Look it up in the dictionary, Hal. There's a picture of you. Oh, you think you're some sort of smart ass, huh? Well, guess what? I'm smarter. Has he told you yet? We're setting up on our own. Hal, it might be best if you could see your way to a small raise. You're setting up on your own, huh? Well, how about this? Babe's still under contract with me, and I ain't releasing him. You can't have Hardy without Laurel. Well, that's what you think. Would you do me a favor? Will you pull this blanket up on me? I sure. just can't seem to get warm. Uh, <clears throat> My goodness, your hands are like ice. Yeah. Yeah. That better? Uh, yes. So have you talked to Delfont? I spoke to him this morning. What did he say? Well, he, he didn't know you were retiring, of course, but he asked me since you were sick if I wouldn't mind carrying on the show with somebody else. Who? An English comedian called Nobby Cook. Well, that makes sense. For the best, Stan. Maybe it is. Well, that's settled then. I'm retiring, and you're going on with a new partner. Hmm. Yes. That's it. The other night, 
of those things you said, did you mean them? No. Did you? No. Good. Stan has been taking wonderful care of me and making sure that Daddy takes all of his tablets. He's even taking the blue ones down. Blue ones? I, I've been giving him green ones. Green? Oh, my goodness. Oliver, what are they? He's kidding. <laughs> well, I'm not finding that funny. I was dancer. Yes. Oh. I danced for Preston Sturgis. I danced for Harold Lloyd. Really, Ida, you've never mentioned this before. When my knee hurt, what I do? Hmm? I dance some more. Yes, I go faster. I jump high and heart go away. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I forget pain because pain is only in your mind. Or your it's not in his mind, you know, it's in his knee. And mm -hmm. there's no way that you can do the scene in this movie where you fall into the river. I've been telling you about the script. Oh. oh. Director can use double. That's what I told her. Preston Star just used double. Oh, and it's okay for Babe to sit about in a river all day. Is it catching his death of cold? I mean, honestly, Stanley, come on. Why what? you say Stanley? What? What? Anyway, show must go on. Yes? And don't worry about the river jump. It's easy as cake. Easy as pie. It's a, it's a piece of cake. That's what I say. I think she wear pants in the Hardy house, no? Oliver is like cat on hot roof with Lucille. Babe's been like that with all his wives. He runs around after them, jumping up and down, trying to please them. Oh, you can learn this? She's been good for him, considering the state he was in, the state we were both in. But now we don't drink and we don't smoke and we're very happy. He should say thank you to you for all you do for him. You could have long time ago said goodbye, Oliver. That's all in the past and it's where it should stay. Thank you. You crazy, send it back. I don't want to drink it, I just want to smell it. No, it's bad for diabetes, no. Now you can't drink. I, I couldn't sleep for days when they told me what you did. And I couldn't sleep when I did it. But you still did it. You betrayed me. Betrayed our friendship. Friendship? We're friends because Hal Roach put us together. And the only reason we stayed together was because the audience wanted it. I have real friends. And yes, we play golf. And we go to ball games. And we have sauerkraut on our broadwurst. People will remember our movies long after you've finished your hot dog. You know something? You're just a lazy ass who got lucky because you met me. Lucky? to spend my life with a hollow man who hides behind his typewriter? You're not real, Stan. You're hollow. You're empty. I loved us. You loved Laurel and Hardy, but you never loved me. So what? Roll sound. Roll camera. Ready, boys? Quiet, please. We're West Scene 12, take one. How <laughs> do you feel about the size of the audiences? I've been a little disappointed. And they said, could you persuade Stan and Ollie to do some publicity in order to turn the tour around? Would there be any more money? <sighs> they said no. Well, who is they? People. The worst kind. Here we are, the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> How is Oliver? Mm, he pulling weight? How's your knee? It hurts. It's even pushing you a little too hard, babe. No. You could have long time ago said goodbye, Oliver. That's all in the past. You're not oh. still carrying that around, are you? Because I went ahead and did a picture with someone else 16 years ago. You and Harry are just going to be great together. Mm -hmm. Couldn't sleep for days when they told me what you did. And I couldn't sleep when I did it. You betrayed me. Betrayed our friendship. I loved us. 
You loved Laurel and Hardy, but you never loved me. The doctors told me I can't continue with the tour. My heart won't take it. He asked me, since you were sick, if I wouldn't mind carrying on the show with somebody else. May I introduce to you Mr. Nobby Cook? You're not leaving, are you, Stan? The show must go on. That was pure magic. It's brilliant. We'd like to finish now with a little dance. You sure? I can do it. I'll miss us when we're gone. So will you. What time is it now? Hold this. Do we really need that trunk? Rob Rayner has directed some of the most famous films of the 20th century. One of those films is the mockumentary This Is Spinal Tap. Rayner and his team tried writing a script but gave up after just a few days the entirety of the dialogue was improvised by everyone involved, so Rayner tried getting everyone credited as the writers of the film.